there, fantasy owners. This is Sean, the Fantasy Ace with the Hat, here to bring you the latest tips, tricks, and tools you need to dominate your fantasy leagues and contests. And this time we are talking about New Hampshire Motor Speedway. New Hampshire is a one mile long track, just like Phoenix, but it is different in its own way with different turns and they have different degrees of banking, meaning drivers will definitely tackle the track differently. But other things to note about this track is, of course, the practice speeds as usual and the chance that this could end up being a fuel mileage race. In the end, it might come down to fuel to determine who will win this one. So be careful with your picks this week, fantasy owners. And as such, here are my five picks to spotlight. You know, it seems to be a habit that at least one of my spotlighted drivers is somebody from Joe Gibbs Racing, but they've been so strong of a team that I can't help but stray away from that habit. And this week, Kyle Busch is going to be a really strong pick. He starts in the 17th position, which gives him a good potential for finish upside. And he's also a two-time winner with eight top fives. And he won the race earlier this year, so it makes a lot of sense for you not to use him this week. He's a really good pick, and he's going to go for the win. One of the drivers who's really had a good season so far is Joey Logano. And I expect him to really continue having that good season at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. He's had a good history here as he's won this race last year and he has four top fives at this track. He also starts in the eighth position, so I think he's a strong candidate to go for that win. Especially because he's a part of Team Penske who's been really good all season long. Use him this week. There's one driver who's been kind of a bit under the radar compared to most other drivers within the last few races. It's probably Ryan Newman. He actually starts in the ninth position and he's coming off of a top five at Chicagoland, which was pretty good. He also has really good history at this track, winning three times and has 16 top tens. He is going to continue to go through that trend and he is going to finish well. Use him this week. another driver who's actually been a bit more under the radar who will be a good pick this week, it's Eric Almirola. He starts in the 15th position and has momentum coming off of two straight top 10 finishes in the last two races. He also has an average finish of 19.1 at New Hampshire. So he's a nice, good, safe pick for you this week and his value is kind of nice. So I would definitely think of using him. <laughs> a bunch of lower value drivers that happen to qualify pretty good this week. So it may be hard to actually choose a low value driver that will actually perform best, but I think that will be Casey Mears this week. He starts in the 19th position and he also has finished 16th at this race earlier in the year. And over the past few races he's actually been running pretty solidly for his low value. So definitely think about using them. Help balance your lineup very nicely this week. Well, that's my five picks, and I have been Sean, the Fantasy Ace with that, bringing you these picks in the weekly DFS NASCAR report. If you want to talk more NASCAR with me, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Seanman247. Now, I thank you all for watching this, and good luck in your leagues and contests, and go win it all!